Hey, this is Tim. Just gonna be a little quick tutorial on uh, R1234YF. This is a, I believe it is a, uh, da, 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 da. It's a Dodge Journey, at least a 2014. Anyway, it uses uh, the 1234 YF. You see right here, it's got single 1.31 pounds, dual AC. This one doesn't have, so 1.93. So, you can only get the cans. I don't have a uh, big can or a 30 gallon, uh, 30 pound of uh, one, two, three, four, way up. I got plenty of 134. Now you can use 134 on here, but the trick is you gotta have an adapter for the gauges and I don't have adapters. Right now I have to order some for the gauges because they make your ports different size. Your low side, your high side, different sizes than your 134 and they also make when you buy one of these is what i got just a quick charge kit for this one this one this one is pretty much brand new system i'm just gonna be putting new freon in it they had some body work done and had to undo the lines and everything so that's why i'm doing this one but on most of them I, i'll probably end up getting a uh, 10 pound can they're just these are 50 dollars 50 dollars a piece for these cans the kit i think it was 30 bucks and also on these kits you need to know that here let me show you real quick these are left-handed threads so <laughs> you go lefty tidy righty loosey so so another thing you need to know too. So of course it's going to go just like you know your regular uh, 134 wheel on here. You put that in here, and of course your gauges. Squeeze your trigger until you get it filled. Now I don't have a high side hookup, which I always like to, but in this instance I don't have one because I'm just filling it up for the customer because he was in a wreck. It's only got like 20 something thousand miles on it. It was in a wreck and they had to uh, put a new radiator and condenser on it. And so they broke it to the system. So let me put this in here. All right, let's uh, get a little light on the situation. And let's put this on here. All right, of course you're gonna do it just like you do any other uh, pitting. And like I said, this is a left-handed thread. So remember, left is gonna be tight. So don't get, don't try to sit there and uh, say, oh my God, the can don't fit, the can don't fit, the can don't fit. It's a left-handed thread. So let's start it up. Okay, we'll start putting some in. The pressure should be cutting on pretty soon. And there's the 
pressure. Take the can a little bit if you have to. Alright, so this is 1.3 because it don't have rear air. So, two of the cans, two of these full cans is at a pound, but they're 8 ounces a piece. So we'll need that and we'll need 0.3 of another one. Make sure you read. How much it holds. I'm gonna tell you right now when you start doing this stuff, it's expensive. Best thing to do is always look at your gauge and you want it no more than about 45, maybe 50 at tops on the low side with this Freon. It is freaking 101 degrees outside. So. Alright, another one out of Tim's Auto. This is just a little tutorial, y'all. Don't be scared, don't be shocked with a 1, 2, 3, 4 YF. It's not that bad. Thanks for watching. Yeah, come on.